Molas are a textile art form created by the indigenous Guna people from Panama in Central America. The word mola in their native language means shirt or clothing, but actually originated as body painting in geometric designs using natural dyes. Molas are now woven in cotton or sewn into fabric as an applique and most often worn as a panel on a shirt. They typically feature bright colors and many still retain the traditional geometric patterns through some designs, feature animals, plants, or even people can also be abstracted. Let's go ahead and get started making our own mola. Beginning with the idea sheet, feel free to use this as a guide or a place to get started. As I begin, I'm drawing very lightly with my pencil. I'm looking for overall shapes and overall designs that can help me with my details. Notice I'm not spending a lot of time just yet on any details, but instead I started looking for the overall shapes. I'm also moving my paper so that I can draw the shapes a little bit easier, draw the lines a little bit easier. And I just use that drawing guide as a place for me to get started. Also, feel free to use some of your own geometric shapes or lines. The idea sheet is just there as a guide to help you get started. Once you have your overall pencil design created on your paper, grab some chalk pastels and we're going to start using those chalk pieces to fill in or color our design. All of the pieces that were drawn with let many details, I'm just going to go ahead and color over that and use another chalk to go on top of my blended color. So right now, as you can see, I'm not paying attention to any of those details or designs that I created. I'm just coloring in the overall shape. The design of the pattern will come later. Once you've colored it in, please take a finger or a small towel and start blending those chalk pieces in. It almost makes your project look like it's glowing a little bit. It creates a nice soft color on your paper and fills in any black spaces that you had when you started using your chalks. I love using chalks. I feel like it has a nice way of adding color, not only in a short amount of time, but it just gives me a lot of different values that I can use when I begin working on this project. So this is me going ahead into putting on some details. Notice that the background is very contrasting against the animal. 
pool colors against warm. And now I'm just using my chalk pastels, and it, my chalks rather, and allowing me to start putting those details on that I had originally drew in pencil. I love that the bright color stands out and I'm not doing any more smearing or mixing right now, but instead I'm putting chalk on top of that blended value. It really starts to stand out and have a lot of attention into the designs that I'm placing on top of the color. I love the way this looks, but before you hand it in, please take a black oil pastel. Okay, so this is gonna be my greasier material. This is gonna give me a nice, bright, solid outline going around my animal. It will sharpen up the image that you had already drawn. Look how it really stands out nicely next to that black outline. Anything you want emphasized, please outline with black. Boy, this really does look a lot better now. I love the way this looks. In review, when you get started, please draw out and color with chalk, blending in your picture. Add your details with chalk next. And lastly, outline with your black oil pastel.